everybody. This is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you on a Tuesday for Tip Tuesday. I might be winging this one and flying by the seat of my pants <laughs> and you might be asking why. It's because Kelly gave me this idea for a Tip Tuesday. I don't know, back in April, I think. <laughs> it was during game night. Or even maybe after that, I, I can't remember how long ago, but it's been a while. She gave me this idea and I finally remembered about this last week and I thought, oh, we gotta do this one. So I actually have never done this before, but I think that the concept of this is gonna be super exciting for people who hate to color. So if you guys watch Technique Thursday on Friday, <laughs> because Kelly was having internet issues last week, she tried 20 times to upload that Technique Thursday for you guys and I just told her, stop. <laughs> and so she got it uploaded Friday, but it was all about the inline stamping where she had her Simply Succulents. And that is maybe a bear for some people to color because it's so detailed and that might not want you, not make you want to buy that stamp set. So, so she created the backgrounds with creating the blotchies from stamps. Like, so with backgrounds, she found different stamps to, to stamp it in. Super cool. Watch the Technique Thursday if you didn't see it yet. My idea, or I should say Kelly's idea <laughs> of her Tip Tuesday is kind of along those same lines. It's creating a background for your stamp so you don't have to color it in. Woohoo! <laughs> so, so again, bear with me. We're going to make this work. It's the concept behind the idea that, uh, which I think you guys are going to like. So, I'm gonna flip down and I have some teasers for you. I don't try to tease you too much with products from upcoming catalogs because I'm still focused on this current catalog and not future catalogs. So you guys will, will probably never see me do an unboxing of showing all these products and getting you guys all excited and worked up about new stuff and then disappointing you because you can't get it yet. So I have to tell you, I do have a little teaser only because when I get my stamp sets, one of the first things I do is I make them. I put them together so that they're ready for me to use. And so I literally got one of my orders today from the new holiday catalog, Jazz Hands, yay. And I was putting them together and I actually had to think, oh, I'm doing this tip for them tomorrow. I need to get my outlines of my stamps that I put together <laughs> and use them. So, so. I do a teaser. I have three stamp sets and matching dies that I can show you. So I can show you product out of the new holiday catalog. I just can't show you the inside pages of it. So, so that is my little disclaimer that I have holiday catalog product. So if you're asking when you can get it, you can get it right now if you're a demonstrator. And if you are a happy customer, um, you can get starting August 3rd products out of the holiday catalog. So are you guys ready for some tips? So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own background stamp for stamps that don't have backgrounds with them. So you don't have to color. So I'm pretty confident in the process, but I'm not so sure how the cutting of them are uh, is gonna be, is, is what I should say. So we're gonna flip down and see what I got going on. So you guys, I have another disclaimer. This is my Stampin' Up, it says on here Stampin' Up. This was what they used to sell many, many moons ago. So those of you that have been using Stampin' Up products since you were wee little ones, You'll remember this. It is for cutting red rubber. Uh, I absolutely love it. I use it when I need to cut red rubber. So disclaimer, you cannot get that in the Stampin' Up! catalog now. I'm gonna be using here this Flowers of Friendship is the, the stamp set that Kelly said to use. Here are some of my outlines or whatever they are, the garbage from when you put your stamps together. I have some sticker sheets here that I'm gonna be using. They're like, what those are, they're called sticker sheets for making stamps, but we're gonna be using Stays on Ink, which is on page 129 of the annual catalog. So Stays on Ink, we're gonna be pulling in the Stays on Cleaner. I may have to find where mine is. And then adhesives, what I wanted to show you where this stuff comes from, they're called Cling Adhesive. This stuff right here, easily convert your clear mount stamps to cling. I'm Assuming we're gonna need this, I didn't. I think so. But so they come in sheets. They're bigger than this, and I cut them down as I use them. So we're gonna be using that. And then here's my little teaser for you guys. So I pulled out. So a new set is called Fright, Frightfully Cute. So you guys, I am loving dyes more than stamps these days. <laughs> so these stamps don't necessarily get this girl going. They're okay, they're perfect, I like them. But the dyes are what I love. So there's a little spider web, these awesome labels. 
You guys, there's definitely a card in our future that's going to be using these dies. This little owl's adorbsy. So, okay, so there's one disclaimer. So what I did is I put my stamps together, put them on my sheet, and then what's left is this right there. Okay, so that's one little teaser. Another teaser is the Bright Baubles. So I just put this one together as well. This is new and new holiday catalog product, and I saved the outer perimeter. Again, this girl is loving dies like so super cool dies that come with this oh look at this a tree i love it oh and a snowflake in this one oh my goodness so i'm looking for votes what what do you like best do you like uh, because we'll probably you know what i've been designing a lot with cards for class is with dies so i'm wondering if that one says joy and that says merry and bright so okay so there's one other one now, I had one more here that's called Merry Snowflakes, and I was looking at this to see if I had any bigger spaces. Okay, so here's a big space right there. So just a little side tip for you guys. The first thing I do when I get clear, oh, I should say red rubber stamps, I pull this paper off right away, and I'm gonna show you how I whip through doing this. This is a side note tip Tuesday, <laughs> just to show you my madness of how I put my stamps together. I, <laughs> I literally do it this fast, I pull them all out of here. Generally, this goes in the garbage, but I'm saving it because we're gonna do Tip Tuesday. Get your hair out of the way. And then I, the, so this is not really what was intended for the Tip Tuesday, but some of you don't necessarily know what is all involved in putting stamps together. And back 20 years ago, we used to have to cut the image out of the red rubber and cut the sticker down. It was a pain stressful process that's why most of my stamps from that day and age were never put together but I honestly I go through and I pull all these off I grab one way grab the other way and then it's just a matter of putting them onto this sticker so you guys there is a specific tip Tuesday on assembling cling and um, your cling mound stamps so you can definitely find that in the cards by Christine Facebook page and um, if Kelly did it, I think back in September of last year, you want to make sure that you, I do take a second just to make sure they're facing the right way. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I don't want to put stamps on upside down, but so when you get your red rubber stamps, so you guys, I did this in, I don't know, it was less than two minutes. I didn't look at the time, but I just wanted to show you like, if it's daunting to you or if it seems daunting to you to do this, hopefully I just showed you it's not too daunting. It was not very long, got that together, but my point was I wanted to show you, save this. So I generally throw all this stuff away, these little scrappers. So that was a set, oh, I didn't even show it. Sneak peek, Merry Snowflakes. Yes, we have another Snowflake set, but you guys, more dyes. Snowflakes, yay! So my featured bundle class in December is going to be featuring this bundle, woohoo! Okay. So back to business, we are gonna make our own stamps. <laughs> so what we need is I wanna make, I do not, I'm gonna go for it, I'm going for the gold here, guys. <sighs> not these two, but I was thinking this leaf and this leaf, I won't wanna color and I won't wanna color in those three things. So take the stamps that you wanna make stamps for. So you see it's an outline. I forgot to get a block, so let's get a block real quick. Hang on, uno momento, por favor. Okay, so grab your stamp, put it on a block, and I'm concentrating on those three, so I don't care that the bottom isn't on the block. I'm not so worried about that. So we got that prepped and ready to go. So I'm looking for areas of the red rubber that are bigger. So I wanna fit my stamps on. So this little leaf, I'm gonna find a little spot maybe over here for him. And then this little guy is even smaller. We can put him there. And then you've got three flowers on here. So I was trying to find a big spot with this corner right here. Looked to me like it would fit right here. I'm hoping, very, very hopeful that that one will fit. We'll see if it'll fit right there is what my hope is. Now, you don't get a lot of space like to use, to make your own stamps. I wanna get that little guy and that little guy. And I'm thinking one will fit there and will fit somewhere else. So. All right, so you guys are getting my drift, hopefully, what we're planning to do. So, Stays On is a permanent jet black ink. Stampin' Up! sells two brands, not their own brands. Stays On, it's his own brand, permanent black ink. You use that 
with watercolors, aqua painters, anything water-based. And then they have the Memento, which is a water-based ink, which you use with your Stampin' Blend. So you definitely want to use the Stazon. And you would want to have some Stazon cleaner. And the Stazon cleaner is right here. And because it's a permanent ink, you won't be able just to wash it off with uh, a chamois or your water-based cleaner. So you gotta have your, your cleaner ready to go. <laughs> we're gonna go small and then we'll go big and then we'll go home. So we're starting small and we're gonna try a leafy first somewhere over yonder. There's a little imperfection there, so I'm not gonna go on that one. I'm gonna actually go on this one. So you guys, this is, this is the, 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 the moment we've all been waiting for. So when you open up your stays on ink pad, be very careful, it is permanent ink. Make sure you sniff it. Mm, it smells like almond extract. If you do not like almond extract, do not sniff it. <laughs> I love almond extract, so I always, it, it is true, I always smell it when I open it up, just to make sure it smells good. <laughs> not that I think it would smell bad, but I just love it. It smells so good. Okay, what I'm trying to do is, I'll get this glare off of there for you guys. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna give it a second just because you want the ink to transfer to the red rubber. I don't wanna risk it not imprinting. I guess I'm just being extra careful and boom. Okay, let's shut our ink pad. Because it's a, a, a permanent ink pad, you wanna shut that right away. It will dry out faster. Now, whew, that was a little risky business there. I was worried it wasn't gonna stamp good. So I'm cutting this out of here. <laughs> Our main goal, so it's permanent ink. Let's just see if it dries. So when I test things, if they're dry or not, I just put my finger on it. Oh my God, look, it's dry. It didn't even leave any sort of blackness on my finger. So you wanna cut this so that it's not bigger than the outline, right? Oh, let's clean this right away because this will stay on your, your stamp and it's permanent in nature. So I don't mind getting a little black ink in here. So once I put that stays on remover on there, it cleaned it right off of the stamp. Otherwise, I'll show you on the next time, it won't take it off without that stays on cleaner. Okay, back to this. So we want to cut it out so it's not bigger than the outline because otherwise when you stamp it, it'll be outside the line. So I'm gonna try as best as I can to cut it right on the line. And I know what I was fretting about. Honestly, when I was thinking about this, I was like, oh man, how am I gonna get around these curves? So I am saving that part for last. Can you tell? I'm doing the easiest part first. I'm cutting the nice smooth lines first. You guys, we're making our own stamp. Okay, so there's a little curve on this leaf. So I'm gonna go like that and then snip it in. Now this side, I have a hard time always, to me, this is cutting backwards. So not there, but get off of there, little guy. Okay, hang on. He's, okay, so this is backwards to me. Like my, I want, <laughs> I want to be cutting like this. And so this line, cause I'm a righty, so we're gonna try our best to get right on that line. Okay, still there, let's get that. We're gonna test it with some ink in a moment here. So it looks like a penguin foot actually. So let's get ourselves a little block. Oh man, I don't even think, I don't even think we're gonna need the cling, I bet that this will stick right to, oh man, cool. I didn't think about it, but that sticks right to our block. We won't even, so what I was thinking we were gonna have to do is put stickers on so that it would stick to our block better, but I don't even think we need to do that. Okay, let's get a piece of white paper, a little scrap -a -roni. get our Just Jade ink. Oh man, do you guys look at that? I don't know if that's ever been used. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna get, um, hang on, we're gonna get a black one as well. Cause let's see what happens here. We're gonna do black. <laughs> so it's gonna be hard to get it exact because that's not a photopolymer. So it's, 
G -g oh no! It's backwards! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Okay. Okay. I, okay. So here you guys, I told you, I confessed in the very beginning. I said it first. Um, I have not done this before, but we're learning together. So ooh, I know what needs to happen. Oh, yes, I do. Let's try. The, oh, God. I, I, gosh, I got green ink in there. Okay. Go team. So we are going to clean this off <laughs> and we need to stamp on the foam. So aren't you guys glad we're doing this together? <laughs> okay. Let's try this. Now, now we'll have this really good. So grab your stays on. Open it up. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try this again. So, no, like, that was fine, except for now I gotta go cut this out again. Oh, okay. That, like, that's, you know what? But I'd rather cut this out once and be able to use, I'm finding, try to find a little spot for it. Maybe right. My hair's probably in there. Sorry, guys, you got my head shot. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you definitely got it. Ha ha. Okay, so you see what I did here? I stamped it on this side. Okay, shut this up. Now, it doesn't smell like strawberry Kool-Aid in here, but it smells really good. All right, we're going to take care of this guy right away. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this is what will make the magic happen. So, let's get him cleaned up. Oh, I was going to show you. We'll do it on the next one because we're going to try one more time. <laughs> we're going to try one more time on this. So, okay, cut that off. Now, you guys got to watch me cut this one more time. Okay. And oh, you know what? And then this actually will have the image stamped on the side. Okay, so let's see what I did here. I went this way and then down this way. I'm proving to you guys that this is gonna work. That's my goal here. It's harder cutting this foam from this way. I will be honest with you. It's a little bit squishy. Let's get you off of here. I want, okay, oh man. You guys are like, this girl's crazy. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Here's our backwards cut right into there. I think that we may have this now. Okay, so let's look at this. Now when we stamp it, it should match up. I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay, let's get my little messy mask out of the way. White paper. Moment. So here's the memento we were talking about. This is tuxedo black in water-based. Okay. Now that's not so bad. Stampin' Up! loves to do this kind of stuff to us, right? They love to give us an outline and then they don't make the image match. And it's like a water-based like look thing, like uh, abstract. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm a type of person. I like things like in the lines, like nice. So, so let's see what happens here, guys, now. Um, I'm gonna go right there. Oh, man, there it is. Okay, so, <laughs> you see that? Now, I did pretty good, except for I did not round my uh, finger, my thumb right here. I did not round that. It's more of a pointy point. So, let's see. We can probably fix that by taking it off, looking at it. It's that one. Take your scissors so you can sculpt and make it a little bit better or matching. I know I've got like stuff all over my scissors here. So I'm going to try to round. It's really hard to cut. So if you guys don't have a, a rubber, red rubber scissors like this, you might want to consider getting one if this is something that you find yourself wanting to do more. So I'm just rounding that red rubber a little. Okay, we're going to try one more time. And we're going to see if we got it. So you guys, the trick is that you need to stamp the stays on on the foam and not on the red rubber. Okay, so we're gonna try one more time. We're gonna line that little guy up right in there. And it's close. So it works. So the other option is to get a marker or some sort of coloring medium out and color that in. Okay, so I wanna show you, we're gonna do it one more time. I hope that's okay. We got, I know this is a little bit longer than what I was thinking, but this is quite the tip. If you hate the coloring, this might be your ticket. Now, they also sell, I'm sure, red rubber in bigger sizes, but I wanna do, oh, I got green ink all over. <laughs> I felt that when I 
my finger in it. Okay, so we're gonna make the flower top. I've been wanting to do that. That's what I was most excited about doing. So whew, let's try this. Let's see if we can get it straight this time. So this has got to go. Let's get rid of you. I'm picturing this flower fitting right there is my hope. Okay, you guys know the drill at this point. Third time is a charm. Take the cover off. Smell it. Smells amazing. Still does. Still good. <laughs> Oh, if you remember anything today, it's going to be that the stays on smells amazing and Chris loves it. Okay, so I'm guessing that will fit. We'll find out when I lift it up, but we're going to give it a hot second here. See what happened. Oh, perfect. Just got it on there. Okay, cool beans. So make sure you shut that. Make sure you, oh, here, I wanted to show you. See, I, I remembered it by the third time. Sometimes it takes so long. So look, Mita, it does not come off. It's you need to use stays on cleaner and wipe that permanent ink off. You can see I missed putting the cleaner right there. It's black yet. So make sure you get a little bit more on there. Get that nice and cleaned and it'll come right off. Spickety span. Okay, so a little cutting action. Let's see what we got. Now, this one looks a little more exciting to me because, well, maybe not. I was going to say, there's not a lot of straight lines. So hopefully it's not as detailed as that little leaf. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so remember the foam is not the important part. It's the red rubber on the back side. So... Don't be all choppy with it, hopefully. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. So I was just, I had a thought in my head. My thought was stamping both sides because it was definitely a lot easier to cut the, from the, like this side, because you could see where it was that you needed to cut the red rubber, where this has a little bit foamy weirdness going on. So. I'm sure the bigger of the image that you have, the easier it will be to cut it, but we're going with it. Maybe using the tips. I just was trying to get nice, smooth lines so that it stamped that inside really good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I liked that. So you can see the back here is a little more choppy because of that foam was really hard to cut. So I'm gonna try to round those a little bit. Do you guys remember we had that leaf needed to be more round on, on it. So I missed a little section right there, but you guys, again, it can be, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. If you want perfect, what do we say guys? Go to the Hallmark store, <laughs> they'll give you perfect or they'll try. All right, let's just see what that looks like. We might be good to go. Okay, got a mess here. All right, we're gonna take this flower and ink up in black, and I don't wanna hit permanent. Okay, perfect, it's a memento. So I'm just going to hit that flower. We're gonna stamp him there, or her, whatever it might be. We're gonna get him on here. So I have a really bad feeling it's gonna be a little bit choppy, but you might not see that choppiness. Boom! I think you could live with something like that. You know, it's gonna take practice, you guys. <laughs> I told you this is my first time doing it, but I got that one spot on, and I got those spot on, but I had a little hard time with that. And I bet you any money that somebody watching this video um, has already done something like this and might be able to provide me and my lovely viewers some amazing tips on what they've done to be successful with this little tip that we're doing here. But you know, having a good scissors will help. Rounding that stuff should help. Cutting it, see I cut that just under the line and not over. So it might be a little bit how I was cutting because you can see my foam here comes out further than that. So as I was cutting, I might've had my scissors angled funky and it might've cut off too much of the red rubber there. So. 
it's the concept of it, guys. And it's um, making, so I brought another set over that I saw here. It's called Free as a Bird. It's a carryover stamp set. Here's one too, where if you don't want to color out this whole bird, or even the flowers here, that bird might, you might not find enough scrap on um, the edges, but this flower, or this flower, you know, there's a lot of curvature going on, but you could definitely take this idea and find stamps that you currently have that you hate to color in, but you love the stamps and maybe you'd use them more if you had a stamp to color them in. So just a thought. Um, that's it. That's my tip Tuesday for you guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I think there was not just one tip in this video. I think there were probably five. So with the using stays on and using the cleaner and the difference between the black inks and the adhesive sheets and then making your own stamps, you guys, and then the sneak peek. So there was a, this was like the bomb of tip Tuesdays here. So, oh man. Well, so you guys, what's coming up next this week is Thursday, Technique Thursday. So I'm looking at the card that Kelly made and it's so pretty. She, she's in line with the Christmas in July spirit, you guys. So her last card, oh, her mystery card that she, so she, she helped design the mystery card. She, she generally gets the mystery card started and either will finish it or hand it off to me. But she is doing a Christmas card for the mystery card as well. And then we have the Christmas in July class, you guys. So we went all Christmas for some of our cards and videos this month just to celebrate Christmas in July, right? <laughs> so start early, guys. All right. So you'll see Kelly on Thursday for Technique Thursday. And then I will see you Thursday for the monthly card class for July. And if you're looking for kits, I still have some kits left over uh, that are unaccounted for. So maybe you guys will watch the video on Thursday too and decide then that you want some. But just know at this point, I have a limited number, like less than five left. So, all right, reach out to me if you have any questions. You guys, I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. Lots of love and sunshine and hugs to you guys. Bye.